With joint indexes, there's good news and there's bad news. The good news, our joins are going to run faster because they're already pre-joined. Or certain queries can use the new primary index of the join index and that's going to make things much faster. But there's some bad news too. You see, it takes up extra physical perm space. So it's using up your space. Plus, whenever data is loaded or inserts, updates, or deletes are done, they've got to also do the same thing to the join index to keep everything current. And this takes more time and overhead. So you've got to be a little careful, especially when you do join indexes on huge tables. But we're going to talk about a sparse join index right now. Here's a sparse join index, and it's a really fancy name. And all it says is you can give your join index a where clause. Imagine if you had a table that had 10 years of transactions in it. Well, the problem is, is that most of the other years, the previous nine years, people aren't even querying, maybe. They're mostly querying the last couple of months. So you can create a join index that's going to take up a lot less space, but be mostly utilized the most often because we're going to put a WHERE clause in the join index. Here we're going to actually say where the order dates between 1999, 1001, and 1999, 1231. We're just going to get the last three months of the current year in the join index, taking up just a little space, but adding a huge performance impact because that's what everybody's querying. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.